Welcome to Align Books. We are happy to have you on board. In this Help Studio tutorial, we will explore the Purchase Bill Preparation options. Before we begin, let us understand about the need of Purchase Bill Entry and the relevance of this particular activity. When you purchase any goods or take a service from a vendor, the vendor should be able to give you a bill or invoice as proof of goods sold or service delivered. These bills or invoices are carefully recorded in the system to be able to generate various MIS reports, which eases your decision making to filter your requirements. For example, you can generate an item movement report and fill out which one is fast moving and which one is slow moving. You can create a purchase bill under the purchase module of Align Books. The key functions of purchase bill module are creation of a new purchase bill, modification of an existing purchase bill, deletion of an existing purchase bill. Configuration. Align Books provides you with the facility to configure your purchase bill documents with respect to choice of linking with parent documents, choice of maintaining multiple series of documents, choice of sending email and SMS on creation or edit or approval of the document, and for approval system settings, etc. Click on Configuration to configure this document. Let's now understand how to create a new purchase bill in simple steps. You have three ways to prepare a purchase bill. Enter the fresh data for the first time. Open an existing document and use the copy feature of Align Books to make the necessary changes. This will save your time and efforts. If you have data in an Excel format, import the data and make the required changes. Let's enter the fresh set of data for the first time. Type. Select from the drop-down whether it is a cash or credit purchase. If it is a cash purchase, the system will automatically update your cash book for the amount paid, otherwise the system will credit the relevant vendor's ledger. Location. If you are handling multi-locations, select the required location from the drop-down menu. This field is available only if you have configured multi-location on, in configuration, then company setup, then general setup. Create new location. If your desired location does not exist in the menu, you can create a new location by clicking on the pencil icon or the plus option within the drop-down menu. Edit or delete location. You can also edit or delete a location from here. Select a location to be edited or deleted, then click on the pencil icon. The location will be opened in edit mode and you can edit it and save by clicking on save. You can delete it by clicking on delete. Category. If you are classifying your document in different categories, select the applicable category from the drop-down menu. This field is available only if you have configured Document Classification on in Configuration, then Company Setup, then Purchase Setup, then Basic. You can add, edit or delete a category by following the process described under the Location tab. Vendor. Select a vendor from the drop-down menu for whom you are preparing the bill. You can add, edit or delete a vendor by following the process described under Location tab. Warehouse. If you have multi-warehouses, select the required warehouse from the drop-down menu. This field is available only if you have configured Warehouse on in Configuration, then Company Setup, then Inventory, then Basic. Also, this field will not be available in Purchase Bill if you have configured Stock Posting on Goods Receipt Note in Configuration, Company Setup, Purchase Setup, Basic. Email. The system will automatically pull the email ID from the Vendor Master. If you wish to change the same for this document, you can do that here. Currency. If your purchases are in a foreign currency, select a currency from the drop-down menu. This field is available only if you have configured multi-currency on in configuration, company setup, general setup. If your desired currency does not exist in the menu, you can add a new currency by clicking on pencil icon or the plus option within the drop-down menu. Conversion rate. The system will automatically get the conversion rate from the currency master if already created by you. If you wish to change the currency conversion rate for this particular document, you can do the same here. Invoice date. 
enter the purchase bill date which you wish to reflect in the document. By default, the system will take the current date. You can also pick a different date by just clicking on the calendar function. Invoice number, prefix. While configuring your document, if you have opted to maintain manual prefix, select a prefix from the drop-down list. If the required prefix does not exist in the list, you can create a new prefix by clicking on pencil icon or the plus option within the drop-down menu. Number. While configuring your document, if you have opted to maintain manual numbering, enter a document number here. Ref number. Here, you may enter the vendor's document reference number or previous document number, if any. Say if you have received a written estimate from your vendor, you can give the reference number of that estimate. Ref date. Here, you may enter the reference document's date. You can also pick a date by just clicking on the calendar function. Agent. If an agent or broker is involved in this procurement, select an agent or broker from the drop-down menu. This field is available only if you have configured agent-wise billing on, in configuration, then company setup, then purchases setup. If the agent or broker does not exist in the menu, you can create a new one by clicking on the pencil icon or the plus option within the drop-down menu. Tax. Select inclusive from the drop-down menu if the rates are inclusive of taxes, else select exclusive. This field is available only if you have configured tax applicable in sales or purchase on in configuration, then company setup, then general setup. Also, this field will be active only if you have configured tax in rates document based in configuration, then company setup, then purchases setup. Billing address. The system will trace and autofill the billing address, GST number, and contact person details automatically from the vendor master. You can make changes if you wish to. Shipping address. The system will trace and autofill the shipping address details automatically from the vendor master. You can make changes if you wish to. Payment term. The system will trace and autofill the payment terms from the vendor master. You can make changes if you wish to. If the required payment term does not exist in the menu, you can create a new payment term by clicking on pencil icon or the plus option within the drop-down menu. Due date. Based on the payment term selected, the system will automatically calculate the payment due date. If you are not maintaining payment terms, you can enter the payment due date here. Pull from. This field is used to import data from the parent document. Upon selection, a list of parent documents will be on display. If there is no parent document linked, this option will be shown as disabled. Look up. This option will work like a barcode. If you enter an item code, the system picks up the relevant details automatically. So far, we have entered the relevant details to clearly identify the vendor and purchase bill. We will now enter the specific item or product details to generate a purchase bill. Plus. Click here to add a row to the table. X. Click here to delete a row from the table. Item code. Select an item code from the drop-down list. Click on plus to add a new item. Description. The system will fill the description details automatically from the item master. Unit. The system will fill the unit details automatically from the item master. Quantity. Enter the item quantity here. Rate. The system will pick the rate from the item rate master. If you are not maintaining a rate master and have entered rate in your item master, it could be picked from there as well. Alternatively, you will have to enter the rate manually. Amount. The system will calculate the amount automatically, i.e. with the multiplication of quantity times rate. Posting GL. If you have created purchase ledgers item-wise, the system will automatically fetch the GL selected by you in Item Master. Remark. If you wish to put any remark against an item, enter here. Item Balance. The system will display the stock in hand of this particular item. The table is dynamic and many extra columns in the table will appear based on your configuration in company setup. 
If you set up these fields, you will need to enter relevant values in columns created for each item row. The columns which will appear based on configuration in company setup are Tax Code, General Setup, then Tax Code in Sales or Purchase, On. Tax Rate, General Setup, Tax Applicable in Sales or Purchase, On. Taxable, General Setup, Tax Applicable in Sales or Purchase, On. Tax Amount, General Setup, Tax Applicable in Sales or Purchase, On. Pack Unit, Inventory, then Basic, then Separate Packing Unit, On. Pack Quantity, Inventory, then Basic, then Separate Packing Unit, On. Print Description, Inventory, then Basic, then Separate Print Description, On. Item Serial Number, Inventory, then Item Extended Property, then Item Serial Number, Tracking, On. Batch Number, Inventory, then Item Extended Property, then batchwise inventory on service date inventory then service then input service date on service location inventory then service then service location on user defined item wise changes purchases then billing setup then item level user defined item attributes 1 to 5 inventory then item attributes required Remark. Input here any remark pertaining to the documents. Attachment. Here you may upload any supporting documents which can be used for the future reference. For example, you may scan and attach a copy of purchase invoice received from the vendor. You can browse the location to attach the same. Click on the X to remove the attachment. User defined fields 1 to 5. During the purchase setup, purchase setup, then purchase custom fields. If you have selected user defined fields, these will appear with the caption provided by you for these extra fields. You may enter the relevant values or data in the applicable field. Purchases value. The system will calculate the total item purchases value based on the data filled in the table during the creation of a purchase bill and will display here. User defined extra charges or discounts, item level. During the company configuration, purchases setup, then billing setup, then item level, if you have defined item wise extra charges or discounts, etc., the system will calculate the total item extra value based on the data filled in the table during the creation of a purchase bill and will display here. Taxable. This represents the total taxable purchases value of all the items auto-calculated by the system. Tax amount. This represents the total tax amount for all the items auto-calculated from the items mentioned in the table. User-defined extra charges or discounts, document level. If you have set up to have any extra charges or discounts on document level, purchases set up, then billing set up, then document level, these will appear here with the caption given by you. You can enter the relevant value against each item. Round off. Depending upon the round off level selected by you, your document will be rounded off and the round off difference, rounded value, actual value, will be shown here. This field will not be available if you have configured round off none in configuration, then company setup, then purchase setup, then basic. Bill amount. This represents the total purchase bill amount. Attribute. This field is available only if you have selected to use attributes in general ledgers. Configuration, then company setup, then finance, then attribute. And a GL where attribute is linked is affected by this purchase bill. For example, if you have allocated an attribute with GL delivery charges, and an amount is going to be debited or credited by creation of this purchase bill, the system will ask to select an attribute to be linked with delivery charges. TDS details. This section is available only if you have kept TDS applicable on, in configuration, then company setup, then finance. Also, if at the time of creating the vendor master, you have kept the TDS applicable off for this vendor, the section will be inactive. 
TDS section. The system will trace and autofill the TDS section under which the TDS is required to be deducted automatically from the vendor master. You can make changes if you wish to. TDS Ledger Select a GL from the drop-down in which TDS so deducted shall be credited. Gross Amount Enter the amount on which TDS is to be deducted. TDS Rate Alignbooks has inbuilt the rate of TDS prescribed under various sections of the Income Tax Act and based on the section selected by you. The system will automatically pick the TDS rate prescribed under that section. TDS Amount The system will auto-calculate the TDS amount and will display here. Logistic Details the system will ask for this information only if you have configured logistic details on, in, configuration, then company setup, then purchase setup, then basic, then destination. Enter the destination from where the goods are dispatched. Shipping mode. Select the shipping mode from the drop down list. Shipping company. Select the shipping company from the drop down list. Shipping tracking number. Enter the shipping tracking number issued by the shipping company. Shipping date. Enter the shipping date. Shipping charges. Enter the shipping charges to be paid to the shipping company. Vehicle or vessel number. Enter the vehicle or vessel number by which the goods have come. Charge type. Select from the drop down whether the shipping charges are paid or payable or to be billed, etc. Document through. Enter how the shipment documents are forwarded. Port of landing. If it is an overseas consignment, enter the port of landing. Port of discharges. If it is an overseas consignment, enter the port of discharge. Number of packets. Enter the total number of packets in the consignment. Weight. Enter the total weight of the consignment. Click on Save to save the document prepared by you. Click on Print to print the document prepared by you. If you want to send an email or SMS, click on the arrow beside Mail icon and click on Email or SMS. Clear. Before clicking this option, make sure that the data entered is no more required by you. The moment you click on this option, the system will erase all the data and give you an empty screen to enter fresh data. Import. Click on Import to import data and select a file from which the data is to be imported. Schedule. If you want to create a schedule for this document, click on Schedule. You have completed creation of new purchase bill. Open. Click here to open an existing purchase bill. Copy. Click here to copy the values from an existing purchase bill. We hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Please give us a call for further help. Happy aligning!